biggest concern ahead of this storm. Reporting live in Union County, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Evan, thank you. And we're keeping a close eye on Hurricane Michael's path and the impact here on the Carolinas. Stay with NBC Charlotte on air, online, and inside our mobile app for the very latest on the storm. Another shakeup coming in President Trump's administration. UN Ambassador and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley abruptly announcing today she is stepping down at the end of the year. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is following this breaking story. And while this is just the latest high profile departure from the president's team, Tanya, this one is different from most. Yeah, that's right, because this is one of the rare times when we've seen somebody leave Donald Trump's administration on good terms, their own terms. Usually the backlash is swift and fierce, but somehow Nikki Haley has navigated those waters, and now political experts say the world is hers. Nikki Haley, ambassador to the United Nations, has been very special to me. She's done an incredible job. It's the kind of endorsement President Donald Trump doesn't usually give to people who choose to leave his administration, but former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley leaving with her head high. Now the United States is respected. Countries may not like what we do, but they respect what we do. Announcing after two years in the role, she's stepping down from her job as UN ambassador by the end of the year. I don't have anything set on where I'm going to go. Haley says there's one thing she does know. No, I'm not running for 2020. I can promise you what I'll be doing is campaigning for this one. So I look forward to supporting the president in the next election. Winthrop University political science professor Dr. Scott Huffman says 2020 may not be Haley's year, but don't rule out a presidential run in the future. Strategically, um, her best presidential bet is 2024. He could also see Haley running for Senate, possibly challenging Lindsey Graham in 2020. Being in the, the United Nations really burnishes her credentials with regard to foreign policy. The president says Haley has a job with him whenever she wants. Hopefully you'll be coming back at some point, but <laughs> you want to just, uh, in maybe a different capacity, you can have your pick. Huffman thinks we'll see her back in South Carolina soon, while she plans.